Hey, good afternoon. So I wanted to talk about my experience with Weight Watchers, my experience with obesity in general, um, my eating disorders I have suffered in the past from both bulimia and binge eating. Bulimia is when you eat and then you purge. I never uh, was a vomiter. Uh, I more or less would starve myself. So like I'd, my idea of dieting was uh, a day of binging on whatever I wanted and then three days of fasting or starvation, you know. And uh, <clears throat> that was a hard row to hoe. And um, finally, the bulimia caught up with me, and I started having blackout, fainting-type spells. And uh, that pretty much ended that career. And I just kept getting, gaining weight after that. Um, oh, I tried every diet on the planet, including hypnotism. Yeah, hypnotism. And... Um, just to give you no brief synopsis, uh, I did the weekly diet on the Enquirer and the, Na you know, what was the other one? I don't remember what the other uh, bogus paper was. Not Some of it wasn't so bogus. Turned out some of it was true, but the headline. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I tried, oh my gosh, the diet workshop, another starvation diet, and your way, this local woman had created a, you know, eating program, and uh, I went to Overeaters Anonymous, and there was the gray sheet back then, remember the gray sheet, a serious starvation uh, diet, and uh, after a while, you just get hungry. <laughs> You just get hungry, and and there was more than the physical hunger. There was the soul hunger. I was hungering for a lot more than just food. The other thing is, is it, it was a great way to stuff those feelings down. Hurting, have some chocolate. Hurting, eat an entire cake. That's when you're really hurting. It usually was, you know, slivering it to death. And, you know, without the starvation part of it, the weight started piling on. Now, I had a weight problem from the time I was eight years old. And, you know, I'd try going without food. Um, I'd try... Um, I tried diet pills when I was 11 years old. I wanted to be skinny like the popular girls, you know. Fat didn't, you know, even pudgy didn't cut it. And I wasn't even that heavy when I look back on it. It's just I wanted to be skin and bones. I thought that was what was attractive. You know, Twiggy was a big influence and she was like, a, you know, someone that was starving over in the third world countries is what she looked like. You know, we would find out later that a lot of models starved themselves and took heroin or other drugs to keep them from eating. So, I, I did it all. I tried it all. And um, I tried every natural diet, uh, vegetarianism, veganism, Atkins. Talk about a switch. Um, I, really, I, I've probably tried every single thing there is. So, um, a viewer was telling me about a few different, you know, channels and what they're doing. You know, there's the no carbs, the all carbs, the only meat, the only fruit, the only salad. I mean, there is a diet for every imagination possible. Does it work? I have to agree with Susan Powder. She was, <laughs> that was another one. Um, stop the insanity. Diets just don't work. And 
so I, even knowing this, I joined Weight Watchers. Hey, it was cheap online, 10 a month, commit for 10 months, and I did. And something extraordinary happened. Now, before this, I'd heard a friend of my daughter's lost 50 pounds using Optavia, which is a sister of Metafast, sister program. And sure enough, I dropped 18 pounds like that, and the food was so horrible, I started crying in the fourth week. <laughs> I'd look at that goop, and I'd just start to cry. It was the most horrible tasting stuff. This is when I still had taste. Most horrible tasting stuff I'd ever have and I'd ever had in my life. And so it just, you know, and my daughter, uh, who also tried it, was getting sick from it because it was too much soy in the products. But it worked. Yeah, it worked. I dropped 18 pounds, boom, like that. But I couldn't do it. So I, I was like, you know, diet equivalent to Optavia. I was online, and there was Wonder Slim. And their food tasted a little better, so I started using that, and I was able to keep that original 18 pounds off. And uh, there was so much salt in it that uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't take it after a while. And uh, something I've noticed about when I start to diet, so I, I recently tried Weight Watchers back in February I started, and... Uh, <clears throat> I did a three-month stint with them, and the last month I could do no more. Um, when I first started Weight Watchers, it triggered my binge eating. I just, I mean, I had been, like, indulging myself. And, hey, you know, eating and not exercising, I was very stressed out with five, five and a half years of taking care of a sick man. Uh, I was gaining weight. It just kept going up. And um, so my binge eating was triggered by Weight Watchers. And I went on m many binges. And I was able to regain control, you know, chatting to my head, watching videos on binge eating, uh, you know, not denying myself anything. That's something I was doing all through the years. I, I wanted a coffee roll. I went to Publix and I got the coffee rolls. They made the nice big ones. They were four of them for under four dollars. And uh, I had started out getting coffee rolls from Dunkin' Donuts. And you know, the coffee rolls started out at 99 cents plus tax and then went to $1.40 and then $1.75. And so, you know, I was like, I'm going to find myself a cheaper coffee roll. And Publix was it. And then uh, more recently, about a month ago, I tried um, Walmart's cinnamon rolls way less calories and just as gooey and soft and everything and uh, 150 calories I was like yay and I ate three of those okay they came in a packet of six I left one for each of my kids and I had the other three I know what I need I know what triggers me the first thing that triggers me is the word no. If I say no, I can't have that, then it's all I'm going to think about. A bag of chips, a donut, chocolate cake. The problem is, is I can't stop at one. It's a big problem. So I know that if I eat these high fat white flour sugar and salt items I'm gonna have a problem and, and then it's gonna roll a ball well I've had the coffee roll and I want a piece of cake I've had a piece of cake and now I want french fries I've had the french fries and now I need a bag of chips and you know every day it's something else because I triggered that in my brain my brain is looking for relief. So, 
I lost six pounds immediately on Weight Watchers. Then I gained five pounds even after I went back on it and I said okay I binged twice in three weeks that's okay I'm gonna <clears throat> refocus my efforts and do even better and I did and I gained five pounds maybe it was a salt maybe it wasn't maybe my body just said enough I don't know so yesterday I called Weight Watchers and I said I'm not happy and actually it was uh, the chat with the live coach because you know when you talk to the virtual and you say I'm not happy <clears throat> they give you a live person I said I don't think it's fair that you're gonna you know if I cancel you're gonna keep charging me through to December and so she said let me talk to my supervisor and I was honest with her I said first two weeks it, it triggered my binge eating then I regathered my efforts I did really, really well on the diet and I gained five pounds. I just don't think this is for me. And they gave me a little refund and they, they're going to stop charging me. So I don't have to commit to the 10 months. I paid for two and a half. And that's okay. What's that? 25 bucks. I can live with that. So that, it was very fair of them. I, I really appreciated that, and I told them so. I didn't mind paying for the months I used, because I've got to tell you, I love their tracker. It is kicker. I love that I could just barcode scan a frozen food, and I'd have the points. I loved that. You know, it was great, except that everything I want to eat, even lean cuisine and healthy choice, was nine points. You get 23 in a day, okay? So figure that one out. And I found that it just, it made me want to keep eating. I just, I forgot my soup. I'll be right back. Bummer. That's going to be mushy soup. Anyway, I made my own soup. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So, um, Was I saying? <clears throat> I hate when that happens. Uh, and I don't go back and edit, so, you know, I have no idea what I was just saying. Let me, let me refocus here. So, yeah, I loved the tracker. That thing was fantastic, but like I said, everything that I was getting was very high points. And and there was nothing in the... Have you bought a Lean Cuisine recently? You get that much food. I kid you not. That much. I was so shocked. Healthy choice, too. I'm looking at the thing. You know them steamer bowls? I don't even have to vent it. Nothing. You Five minutes and there it is. And that much food. I'm like, I'm going to starve. That's not going to work. So, you know, I was a little upset, and Denny said to me, you know, blah, 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 and I said, when am I supposed to have time? All I'm doing is working, babysitting. So, you know, the, you know the, that is what caused the problem, and, you know, falling out briefly, and then we all regrouped, and I agreed to, if it's too much, I'll say no. I, I, I didn't have time to cook anything, you know, and... So I got a few days off, and what I did is I chopped up a bunch of vegetables, and I threw it in great value vegetable broth, and I added a few cans of beans. I love the red beans. Those are really nice, and they're cheap. And uh, that became lunch and dinner with a piece of bread. And because bread is free on Tuesdays, I picked up a Cuban loaf, and uh, I thought it was French bread, it was actually Cuban, and I just would cut a chunk off, and it was lasting me for days and days, because they're big, and I don't eat that much, really. I, I honestly don't eat that much. That's the weirdest part of everything, you know? Unless I get that sugar going, and the problem with Weight Watchers is you can have all the bananas you want. That's a lot of sugar. And, you know, the bananas, and then I'd be really hungry, and then I'd have you know, whatever I was allowed to have. I, I like a lot of fruit, and so I'd be eating grapes, a lot of sugar, 
and um, then I, you know, have my miserly two meals, and then I'd want popcorn at night. And popcorn, um, microwave popcorn doesn't trigger me, but certain foods trigger me, you know. I know I have to keep away from them, or it'll cause me trouble, but I still don't say no. I never say no. Binge eaters should never say, I can't have that. You can have that. You just are going to pay the consequences and the penalty for having it. Especially if you're, a, you know, have a, an addictive personality. Now, here's the thing. I could stop, after three years of cigarette smoking, I quit it just like that. Drinking, just like that. Never cold, never had any problems at all. Sugar, that is an addiction. I have not been able to quit, except for recently. So I noticed that when I put a teaspoon or two of white sugar or even raw sugar in my coffee, well, raw sugar not so much as white sugar, I'm good for weeks. But suddenly one day I need two cups of coffee and then I need three cups of coffee because I need the sugar. Then I need a cookie to go with the coffee or I need a sweet roll to go with coffee. And then after I've had the coffee and the sweet roll, I have been dying for a piece of cake. And after that, I need chocolate. And I buy bags of it. Now in my coffee, I use a teaspoon or two of maple syrup, real maple syrup. And I'm not having that problem right now. I'll keep you posted and let you know. So, my daughter Bonnie, she's my youngest in North Carolina, you know, she was saying that uh, she'd like uh, to stop, you know, to go on a, you know, stop all sugar thing. And do I want to join her? I said, does that include maple syrup? And she says, yeah. And so I start looking this up on YouTube and I'm finding that, well, yeah, but there's going to be sugar in whole wheat bread, there's going to be sugar in potatoes, there's going to be sugar in corn, there's sugar in this, there's sugar in that, sugar in beans. These are the things I'm living off of. What do I do? And, you know, I would love to feel better. So I'm listening to some of these YouTube chiropractic doctors that, you know, are talking about keto and you know, don't trust the, the, and I agree with that. Uh, research isn't always honest, and it's usually biased to try to prove a point, you know, just like all politics, religion, and, you know, food choices, and sometimes like uh, maybe the uh, sugar industry will pay for the research. So you've got to please that industry, for instance. I know if I do a heavy animal protein diet, I'm not going to want to eat in two weeks. This is what happened to me on Atkins. I was kicking butt and taking names. That weight was falling off. And then I'd look at the meat and I'd be like, I'm not eating today. And then after not eating for three days, I'd be like, let's go to Crystal Burger. I think extremes is something I have to keep away from. So, I think I'm not going to do keto. Sometimes I look at chicken, I mean cooked chicken, and I just... And sometimes it's like almost, I can't really smell per se, but sometimes I get this like essence or sense and this dead bird essence when I eat it. And I just hate that. Beef, I really love. I love beef. But I know that if I just eat beef or like I can have blueberries, I guess, not too many. I can have certain watery green vegetables like zucchini, eggplant, lettuce. You can even have fat. 
But after a while, I'm going to become sick of red meat. I love lamb. Oh, love lamb. Up to a point, you know. And I'd love to be able to eat salmon three times a week, but real salmon, sockeye, wild caught, which I'm not going to eat farmed, no. It's going to be too expensive, you know. I'm on my own now, and uh, I got to watch it. And I know that beans and rice and potatoes and even whole wheat pasta... I'm going to feel satisfied. And I even let myself have a sugar-free chocolate pudding once a day. So, it's a battle. For me, it's a terrible battle. I'm constantly having to find balance with food. And it's very difficult at times. I really love eggs. And this morning, I even had three boiled eggs. That's what I ate for breakfast. And... Then I came home, I made this monster salad with chickpeas, and I do use dressing. I, I, you know, I use about one and a half to two times as much as they say, you know, a serving is, so. But I figure, you know, there's the other stuff that's in the salad, cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, even the chickpeas, those are going to be fast metabolism. So I feel like, you know, having that fat in the dressing isn't a big deal. And the sugar is actually quite low in the great value. Um, I bought both uh, Ranch and Thousand Island because I love the creamy dressing. Sometimes, though, I go through an olive oil and vinegar phase where I just make my own, and I just love that, you know, with some amino acids in there. And I can do that. But... I just think I need to find my own way with my food. And what I'm doing right now is working. I have hit my second goal and I feel really good about that. I just really have to be very cautious because if I let myself have too much liberality in eating, um, I will gain that back overnight. And it's not necessarily fat. A lot of it's water. I get that. But uh, since I began this journey, I've lost 30 pounds now. And that feels really good. Really good. I want to keep that off, and I want to continue with that other 60 pounds that I want to lose. And uh, is that right? Yes, a little less than 60 pounds now. So uh, I think I'm just going to, you know, keep on keeping on. I do eat a lot of fruit. I like watermelon. I'll, I'll eat half a watermelon easy. Um, I just, if it's really, really good. The melon I have right now is a little sucky, so I'm much slower with it. But I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to eat it. But Michael just got another one, and it was so spot on, you know, in... It's just like sweet, juicy, and I can detect sweet, sour, bitter, spicy. I can't always taste taste. Sometimes I think I'm tasting. I lost my taste somewhere in the beginning of, uh, or the end of 2019, before COVID was talked about, but we don't really know how long it was out there. There's some um, that say it was out there before the end of 2019, they found it in like, you know, water, um, you know, uh, septic sewer samples and whatnot when they went back and looked. So I don't know. Um, I lost my sense of taste. I'm hoping I, I get glimpses of it. like today. Uh, I was at Mike and Maggie's, my daughter and um, daughter-in-law and son. And I said, just gonna see if I can smell this. I opened up her, she has a McCormick Greek uh, spice, and I smelled it, and I could smell the spice, I could smell it. So, you know, it's there's always hope that things will change. Uh, 
a lot of it could be my inflammatory problems and that's one of the big reasons I want to try keto. I hear that a lot of people say their inflammation goes down. I think weight loss alone helps with inflammation. I haven't experienced it like I'd like to yet, but I'm going to keep on trying. So I just want to talk about that and um, I'll leave a um, trigger warning uh, in the title but uh, because you know some people are triggered by weight loss issues and it's not that I worry about how I look, I'm really worried about how I feel. That's really important. But of course we all want to be able to just walk into a clothing store, buy it the size off the rack and have it fit. That feels great, not, oh my butt's so big and this just clings to my fat rump and you know, my arms, I don't want to wear short sleeves because they're so poochy and now I've got bat wings. Da -na 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 -na. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would love to just walk into Ross's or bells. I love to shop bells. Bells out there. And just do a size 14. I would love to see size 14 once again. That would make me happy. I don't know if I can make it, but I'm sure as heck going to try and not give up. And I notice since my stress levels are down, I'm doing better. Much better. So that's really important. Stress and cortisol are issues and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye.